So I've always wondered, are membrane keyboards kind of coming back into the gaming world or PC world? Everybody always knows that membrane keyboards were always those rubbery, non-tactile little switches that were really awkward. And then everybody transferred over the mechanical keyboards where they're fully customizable and they were great. But are membrane keyboards that bad? Have a look at it. Mind the label. Amazon thought it would be a great idea to just slap a label straight on the box and ship it, even though that anybody could see what this was. So this is the K55 RGB Corsair keyboard. Like I said, mind the scorching. Now, if you're interested in getting some amazing deals when it comes to Windows 10 and Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, please stick to this video and I'll also be sharing with you some cheeky little discount codes so let's just jump straight into it. So we've currently got the Windows 11 Pro OEM key, which is the global lifetime. And now this is the May big sale, which is great. But if you do use the discount code SKJT and then click on apply, it's going to knock off another 25% to your already reduced price coming in at 23.46. Now, if you can get a better deal than that, please let me know. So VIP SCD key do also offer Windows 10 Pro OEM keys, which is coming in at 2258. But again, if you use the discount code SKGT, it will drop you a further 25% off. But the good thing about this, it allows you a free upgrade to Windows 11 Pro as well. And this is all part of the big May sale. Now, the great thing about the discount code SKGT, it also works for Office 2019 Professional Plus key, which will also give you a further 25% off. But this is only included in the big May sale. So please do check the links in the video description for the best chance to get the cheapest OEM keys you can get. So as always, we're going to get this unboxed. Uh, I still can't believe Amazon shipped it with a label like that. Anybody could have got this, but hey, you know. So anyways, this is from Corsair. This is a gaming keyboard. This is pre-key RGB backlighting, macro keys with Stream Deck. So you, they are accessible with a Stream Deck. It is IP42 rated spill resistant. And this is the K55 RGB Pro XT with IQ technology. So let's get into it, see what we've got. So like I said, we do get a little warranty guide, nothing exciting. Uh, then we also get a safety and compliance information guides. Yes, thank you very much. So we have the keyboard itself as well as the wrist guard. Quite a nice wrist guard there going on. A little Corso logo in the middle. It's got quite a, it's more of a rubbery feel, I guess. So obviously when you've got your wrist on it, it's going to be quite comfortable, I guess. And then that just clips together that, very nice. Yeah, it just clips together. There's two little clips at the bottom there. It gets together quite nice, but I wanted to know what... I've owned a few membrane keyboards in, in the past. Uh, they're not the best, but they're not the great. Uh, they're not the worst, you know, so... And you're spending, what, what was this? 75, 80 pounds here in the UK, so... Not the best, but then again, it all depends on what kind of user that you are with this. So let's have a little look first. So we do have all black theme going on. The top is more of a polished uh, glass theme, uh, which is quite nice, don't get me wrong. The wrist strap at the bottom is made out of more of a rubber material. It's plastic underneath, but then coated with rubber, so it's quite nice and soft in your hands. You do have six uh, macro keys on the left-hand side, so they are customizable through the Stream Deck. Uh, if you do have a Stream Deck, if not, you can customize them through the IQ website, uh, software, sorry. So we have the mode, uh, RGB, as well as lock button at the top, as well as our four uh, four LED indicators, obviously your num lock, scroll lock, and all that sort of stuff, and then your lock. We do have some media keys at the top. So this is mute, and then increase or decrease the volume. And then we do have more media keys at the bottom, which is in the stop or play or skip a song. And then again, this is a full 100% keyboard with numpad as well as full keyboard style. Now, like I said, this is a wired keyboard. The wire itself is... Um, I'm sorry to say, but it, it's very cheap. It is. Apart from the actual knuckle itself. So if it's going to focus. So you do have a nice Corsair logo going on there. Then they've braided the bottom to make it a little bit better. So don't get me wrong. The RGB itself doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's good. So obviously, we can change this by the button at the bottom. Oh, so the only So we can change this through different functions. You can change all the settings through the IQ... Um, software i will show you a clip in a second while i'm talking obviously just about the iq software you can change it you can customize the rgb like i said you can customize the 6g6 buttons um, themselves but when i said it was a membrane this is full membrane so you don't have the tactile sound or the clicky sound that you would get from a mechanical keyboard and i guess you don't have the response time either 
So get them off so we can just see just an image above there. Um, with the mechanical keyboard, I like how the matter of fact that as soon as I go to press, there's no interference. It's just straight. I can press it, click done. With this, it seems like you need a lot more pressure to actually push down the keyboard, which isn't for everyone, don't get me wrong. Um, macro and macro. Uh, these sort of keyboards are not for everyone, which is fully understandable. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not a massive lover. I just thought I wanted to have a look at it to see if... Um, Maybe if membrane keyboards were kind of bringing it back, but I guess they're not. So guys, this is the IQ software. As you can see, I've already got a few things here. I've got my H150i Elite uh, cooler, as well as my Vengeance Pro. Obviously, this is just my mess around PC, so that's everything there. Great thing about this software before we come to the keyboard is the sensors on the bottom. So we can see there that it's got the temperature, the RPM of the pump, as well as the fans, how, how hot they are. You've got the NVIDIA 4070 Ti, which is running at a very cool 30 degrees, which is very nice. We've even got the load on the RTX 7 5800X, which is only 17%. I'm not using a lot at the minute, as well as its main temperature, which is very, very cool. Now, if we head over to the K55 RGB Pro, this is the keyboard we are predominantly using right now. We can see the RGB function that's already set up. But if we go to the left-hand side and go to lighting effects, we can go down here and actually change the lighting effects themselves, whether we want different watercolors, cool move, if we want it to rain, you know, you do have full utilization of this as well as the speed, as well as uh, alternating before different colors or just random colors. So you do have full utilization, even customizing them as well, or even li uh, linking, lighting links, so you can link the keyboard to be the exact same as all the other devices. Now we do have hardware lighting as well, as well as performance. So if you want to, when it when the lock's on, like I said, that little lock key, we can disable different things. Um, and even device settings, so if you want to check firmware, if you want to increase the polling rate, brightness, as well as the current layout, depending on where you are in the world, which is quite cool. Now, if we go over the key assignments, this is going to allow us to change the G keys, which is like basically your macros. So basically, it's going to allow us to select one of these keys, add an assignment, and then it's going to allow us to change what we want that to do. So we do have full utilization of what we want these keys to do, as well as use an MR button to program them and actually set the key up, which is quite nice, I have to admit. Like I said, we went through the software. The software is not that bad. I enjoy the IQ software because a lot of the PC parts I have, like the the uh, the my RAM as well as my uh, Liquid AIO, that's all Corsair. So it's all controlled by the IQ app, which I do enjoy. And it's good to have an app that's socialized around everything related to Corsair, which is great. I'm just not a great lover of membrane keyboards. Like I said, if you are, by all chance, please get one. Reasonably priced if you're going to be starting off um, really good. Obviously, mechanical keyboards can cost you a lot of money. Corsair do do a lot of mechanical keyboards that are absolutely amazing. Um, I personally go with Logitech because I prefer them, but everyone has their own preference. But there we have it. Just a little simple video about the Corsair keyboard. Um, we went through some of the specs. Obviously, nothing, nothing major, nothing exciting. Um, all in all, it's not actually a bad little keyboard. The RGB is not too bad. Like I said, can be controlled for the IQ app, which is quite nice. I wasn't a lover of the cable and I'm not a lover of the membrane keys. I prefer more of a tactile click, obviously. But again, that is personal preference. But if you are interested in a membrane keyboard with full utilization of uh, messing around the RGB lights, as well as the macro keys, as well as your media keys, then this is pretty much going to be the best bet for you. I think the one thing I did like about it is the media keys at the top. Some keyboards do have a little scroll wheel. They drive me they drive me insane. But having the three buttons at the top, yeah, I, I, I see where they've gone with that. So I do quite enjoy it. So if this is maybe is something that you want to get your hands on, please do check the links in the description. There'll be a link there. But if you do have any questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Drop me a comment if you need help with anything. I am more than happy to help. But by all means, I'll catch you in the next video.